Israel-Iran War News Live Update Grant Shapps urges Israel to flood Gaza with supplies and stop the war. Defense Secretary Grant Shapps advised Israel to comply with international law before flooding Gaza with aid. He said given the enormity of human suffering, the bloodbath must end. Defense Secretary Grant Shapps wants Israel to flood Gaza with aid to stop the war. Photo, AFP. He urged the Hamas militants behind the October 7 Israeli killing to embrace a generous hostage arrangement as a gateway to peace. He told The Sun's New World at War show, It's extremely important to bring this to a conclusion. It benefits Palestinians. This is in Israel's and the world's interest. The way to get there is the release of hostages, the thing that began this all. Israel worries that the International Criminal Court in The Hague could arrest Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. Shapps said, Israel has a right to self-defense, but it must do so in a way that is consistent with international humanitarian law, just as other democratic, civilized states must do. We express the same publicly and privately. I repeat it to Yoav Gallant, the Prime Minister to Netanyahu, the Foreign Minister to his counterpart. Whatever you do, you must comply with international law. He added, one of the best ways for Israel to demonstrate compliance is for aid to flow. An expert predicts that Israel will need three months to eliminate Hamas in Rafah, followed by Hezbollah and Iran. An expert hopes to flood Gaza with relief, including food, medication, and more. Netanyahu has threatened to strike Rafah, where a million people seek safety, with or without hostages. A scandal of historic proportions if the ICC issued arrest warrants against him and his top lieutenants, he said. Shapps spoke to award winning son writer Jerome Starkey, photo by Dan Charity. Today's globalized world system faces growing geopolitical risks. The post World War II rule based order has collapsed or never stood as strong as many imagine. We are rapidly falling into an unrecoverable abyss. This is particularly dangerous because we may have reached an inflection point when the two main factions of the emerging global system are irreconcilable. Insolence beyond comprehension. Anger abuses the soul, it seems unlikely that NATO and the emerging global south could find common ground. Unhinged barely describes Western hegemony. But it's not just about falsehoods. They don't think they're lying, so I don't know if they're lies. These seem like clinical delusions. The funny thing is that it makes one wonder if you're just as obtuse as the other side and don't realize things that are so vivid to me. It probably begun. Even the circumstances that caused the First and Second World Wars weren't as distressing. The Ukraine crisis is the most intense since World War II and has been imminent for a long time. The Palestine fire is the deadliest since Israel became a terrorist state in 1948. If you try to hold Israel supporters accountable, you get the anti-Semitic scarlet sign on your forehead. Prozios speak plainly. British pro-Israeli journalist Piers Morgan interviewed the famed British and Muslim journalist. Piers Morgan interviewed American activist Cenk Uyghur again. Upsetting how they bent over backwards to criticize Hamas over October 7's acts. When a pro-Palestinian guest appears, do you denounce commas opens?